Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Recent Amazon updates to Fire Sticks have been causing some customers concern. After the recent updates, it's been discovered that functionality that enabled users to make customized changes to their Fire Stick no longer works. This has led to speculation that further concerning changes may be on the horizon. If you want to find out more, then let's go and take a look. In my opinion, Fire Sticks are great and there are millions of Fire Stick and Fire TV users that agree. They are very user friendly. There's excellent compatibility with the majority of streaming apps. You can install third party applications and other apps through side loading and they're very affordable. However, that definitely does not mean that they are perfect. A few issues that get some users fired up are that the home screen is full of adverts and sponsored content and Fire TV devices are full of Amazon's own preloaded bloatware, leaving little of the meager 8GB of storage space left for installing other apps. The demand for users seeking a way around these issues has led to independent developers coming up with solutions, such as an application called Launcher Manager. Launcher Manager, created by a developer called Sweenwolf, when executed, runs ADB commands to disable the Amazon Launcher or disable the Amazon home screen of your Fire TV device and allows you to replace it with a custom launcher. Using a custom launcher can give your Fire Stick a clean and slick new look, so you no longer have to see all of the Amazon adverts and sponsored content. Another solution to the other issue around lack of storage and Fire TV devices being pre-installed with a load of Amazon apps is a debloat tool created by Tech Doctor UK. This tool again uses ADB commands to disable Amazon packages and processes running in the background. This frees up memory and CPU usage. With recent software updates rolled out to Fire Sticks, it seems that the ability to disable the Amazon launcher and disable Amazon processes from running in the background has been removed. This seems to be an intentional move on Amazon's part and by doing this, it no longer gives users the flexibility to customize their Fire Sticks and Fire TV devices. Now that Amazon have made a move to block these types of customizations, it has made some users wonder what could be next. Could Amazon also stop Fire Stick users from installing third-party apps by taking away the ability to sideload their devices? Well, the answer to that question is yes. With a simple software update at any time, Amazon can, if they wanted to, put a block to sideloading. If this were to happen, this would bring Fire TV devices into line with Roku and Apple devices where the ability to sideload applications does not exist. However, this is very unlikely to happen. Currently, sideloading is the only way that developers of new apps can test them on Fire TV devices. Amazon even produce official documentation for developers with instructions on how to sideload an app. The question of Amazon blocking the sideloading of apps was also raised in 2015 when the K application was removed from the Amazon App Store. Elias Saba, a former software engineer and product manager for Fire TV, wrote a detailed article at that time on his AFTV News website on why Amazon would not consider an option to block sideloading. I'll leave a link to that article in the description down below if you're interested in taking a look. Things have obviously changed a lot since then and we have witnessed Amazon becoming more aggressive with their attempts to block any alterations of their Fire TV devices. However, I think that it is still very unlikely that the blocking of sideloading would happen. The ability to easily sideload Amazon devices is one of the reasons that makes them so attractive to buyers. 
removing this would be a very bad move on Amazon's part as they would potentially lose hundreds of thousands of customers worldwide. In a recent poll posted on my community page, a massive 84% of existing Fire TV users that voted said that they would stop using a Fire Stick if they could no longer sideload it. It would be very interesting to hear what your thoughts are on this, so leave your comments down below this video and join in the discussion. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Did you know that I also have a very useful website where you can find even more Fire Stick information, help and tutorials. You can find a huge app library that is simple to use and you can download almost any app from my website right onto your Fire Stick using the Downloader app. You'll also find video tutorials, help and advice on other streaming matters that you won't find from me on YouTube. So make sure you check out firetvsticks.com and bookmark it so you can always go back and check for the latest news. You can also sign up to my newsletter that will keep you up to date on all of my latest video releases, news and how-to articles delivered right to your inbox.